Today on Passion for Food, we're going to be making the best no-churn ice cream. Now, I don't know about you, but over the years, I've just collected so many different cooking gadgets and gizmos and machines that I just don't have any room in my life for an ice cream maker. But that's okay, we don't need one. I was experimenting a little bit and I came up with this recipe that really mimics the smooth creaminess of that classic churned ice cream, but without an ice cream machine. So let's tell the ice cream machines to beat it and get started with our recipe. We're gonna need two full cups of heavy whipping cream. This is at least 30% milk fat. To that, we're gonna add one full cup of sugar. If you like your ice cream a little less sweet, you can cut that back to two thirds. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Don't skip the salt, trust me on this. And here's what makes this different than the other no-churn recipes you'll see out there. We're going to be using two egg yolks, just like a classic ice cream base. Now here we could easily just add a teaspoon of vanilla, but I decided to splurge a little and split a whole pod for this. I think this poor pod must have been hanging around looking for a home for a while because it was a little bit on the dry side, but hey, that's okay. All the flavor is still there and this made for a wonderful ice cream. So we'll just get that into our pot and we want to bring this gently up to a simmer over medium heat. This is creating a custard just like the classic ice cream base, except we're just using cream and not cream and milk and that's going to allow us to perform the little trick that lets us freeze this up perfectly without needing to churn it. You see the normal no churn recipe that I see on the internet is just two cups of cream and then a can of condensed milk and whatever flavorings you would like to add, but for me that seems to lack something in the texture department, it's just not quite as creamy. It kind of has more of a cool whip feel to it, which is fine, it's still really tasty, but I like my version a whole lot better. Once our extra creamy ice cream base comes up to a simmer, we want to just cover this and stash it in the fridge until it's completely cold. About four hours or so, and it's going to be super thick here. I'm just going to go ahead and fish out our vanilla pod. We don't want to try and whip that. And we'll just dump our soon-to-be ice cream into some sort of bowl. You don't need a stand mixer for this, just a regular hand beater will work just fine. And we're just going to whip this like it was regular whipped cream. And it shouldn't take long, only a minute or two. We're not looking for stiff peaks or anything like we're making meringue, just kind of a soft serve consistency. Once it gets nice and thick and it approximately doubles in volume, we want to go ahead and stop beating. You want to be a little bit careful because of the eggs in here, this can actually separate if we're not careful. You can see the kind of texture we're going for here. It's super thick and luxurious looking. It just sticks on that spatula. If you wanted to add other flavorings like crumbled up cookies or candy or fruit or whatever, this would be the perfect time. But I decided to let the vanilla bean be the hero of this adventure. Now all we have to do is cover this and let it freeze overnight. Don't worry, this isn't one of those annoying versions you have to take out every 30 minutes and stir around as it's freezing. Just let it freeze completely. You'll find despite no churning, it has a wonderfully soft texture. And because we took the time to form that basic custard, it's also wonderfully creamy. Me and my wife really love this, so I highly recommend you give it a try. And if you're looking for serving suggestions, I'm going to be making a short skillet cookie sundae video later this week, so keep an eye out for that. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Passion for Food. If you have, give me a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss our future videos. And check out one of our other great videos playing on the screen now. This has been Graham with passion for food. Once it gets wonderfully thick like this and it approximately...